Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the selenium interview questions. That is, what are the different X-Path types and which X-Path type you have used in your projects? Let me answer. There are two X-Path types. One is absolute X-Path, other one is the relative X-Path. Absolute X-Path means complete path, full path, starting from the root element to the required element, okay? Whereas relative means shortcut or direct path, okay? So this one is kind of lengthy full path, whereas this one is a shortened uh, shortcut or direct path. But in real time, which one out of these two you have to use in your projects or you have used in your projects? If such kind of question comes in the interview, we have to say that relative X path, which is a shortcut or direct path. Why? Because relative X path is reliable. Okay. Reliable means more reliable, you can say. Because of some small changes or some code changes done by developers on a web page, the impact on the relative X path expression changes is less. Relative X path won't change that much. Whereas absolute X path, because of some small change also, this path changes and because of which the old path won't work. Again, we have to regenerate a new full path so that we can locate the element. In case of relative X path, even though small changes are done on the application by developers or code changes or whatever it is, okay, the chances for the relative X path to change because of those changes is very less. Okay, So that's why relative X path is more reliable and uh, they can accommodate to the changes Okay, and they won't change. So you don't have to recreate the relative X path every time. But absolute X path, small changes, you have to create, keep on creating fresh X path expressions every time. That's why people in real time use relative X path expressions. I'll show you or uh, explain you with a practical example and demonstration so that you'll get an idea, okay, how relative X path expressions are more reliable than absolute X path expressions. Fine. Okay. So what I will do here is uh, I will... Uh, Take you to one application. I'll just, uh, the application is omai.blogspot.com application. Okay. And um, let's say there is a button here, button two, and inspect this button. So beforehand, uh, make sure you have the selectors of add-on installed that will help us. Okay. So you can even use a Google Chrome Dev Tools here, but uh, selectors hub is better. How to install means very simple. Go to selectorshub.com. Okay. Go to selectorsub.com. On the home page, you will see the selectors hub. Click on install and you will be taken to this page where you see a lot of browsers. If you are using Chrome browser, just say install. You will be taken to the Chrome store. So in my case, remove from Chrome is coming because it's already there. Okay. In your case, add to Chrome will come. Just click on add to Chrome and uh, once it is added, pin it here. You can see it here. After that, you can uh, you know restart the browser once. Okay. So that it will work well. So in my case, the expo, the selector sub add-on is already there. So I'm going to use that. It's already there and you are inspecting a button here like this. Under the element, some subtabs are there like styles, computer, layout, event, listeners, and all. Here we have last option, a selector sub. Go with that selector sub. So do one thing, right click here. Selector sub. Copy. Okay. Absolute XPath. You see, there is an option like copy absolute XPath. You can copy. Copy this and uh, go to the notepad and place paste it here. Okay, this is the absolute X path. Now, what I will do here is I will do a small change as a developer of this application. I'll do a small change where I will move this button from the left side to the right side of the page. Now, the button is on the left side. When the button is on the left side, we got this uh, X, absolute X path expression full path as you see from the root element, the path is coming to the till the button. Okay, so complete path is there, but uh, there is a problem that is when the button is on the left. It is like this. I have for a small change, I will move this button to the right side. So I have the interface with me where I can move the buttons here and there. So just for a uh, demonstration, I'm doing this. I'm just moving it to the right side and save this. Once I saved this, okay, now I'll uh, refresh the page. Okay, now the button has come to the right side. Now right click, inspect this. Don't inspect, right click. And say selector sir and say copy absolute X path and now paste it here when it is on the right side. Now compare this both absolute X path expressions. Till here it is same HTML1, HTML1, 
body one body one is same due four due four is same due two due two is same due two due two is same due two due two is same let's keep on moving okay due two due two due two here due one here this one is due four this one is also due four but here there is a change due two due three the small change you see because of this small change this old absolute x path expression is no more going to work you have to once you move the button to the right side you have to recreate the regenerate the absolute x path expression because it got changed this one is not going to locate that button right because it got changed here a lot of things got changed here you see due 3 is there here due 11 due 9 got changed like that some changes happened so that's the problem with the absolute x path expression which are not reliable because the maintenance is high every time you run the script because of this exp absolute x path expression if your script is uh, failing because older x path expression is there now changes happened on the application now we have to create uh, identify the problem that this is all because of the absolute x path expression and modify the absolute x path expression with the latest one and the script has to work that is a headache for us rather what we can do here is uh, instead of uh, you know absolute uh, what, uh, relative if you use right click here and say selected sub and copy relative x path i'll just uh, paste it here when it is on the left side this is a relative x path you see how short it is how direct it is okay you don't have to start from the root element like this now since i have the control i'll just move this uh, button to the again back to the left side when it's on the right side when the button was on the right side uh, this was the relative x path expression and when the button is on the left side okay when the button is on the left side refresh here the button will come to the left side uh where is that button yeah this is the button and it's on the left side right click here and say selector sub and say copy relative x path and now go and paste it here and now compare these two x path expressions which are relative x path expressions nothing changed this is what i am talking about they are reliable because of some small changes ui changes or code changes on the application they are not going to get changed okay they're going to be most of the cases high uh less chances for changes right okay 99 percent they are not going to change that's the main advantage okay so that's why in real time we prefer relative x path expression so the interviewer who is asking this question is also expecting the same answer from you okay so you have to say that uh, there are two types. Uh, there's a full line shortcut and all and uh, relative we use in real time because of this reason. Okay. With practical demonstration, I have answered this question for you now in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.